Hey everyone, welcome to part one of the Team Maker Toolkit tutorial. Uh, today we'll be going over how to make yourself some signs for your rides or for whatever you want to do for Planet Coaster. Um, basically, for the first part of the tutorial, we'll be going over how to make your materials, uh, how to make the materials for Plexicolor and for emissives. Um, it's important to notice that all of your images must be PNGs and they must be square photos, meaning that they must be the same height and width ratio. Um, width ratio. 2048 by 2048, 1024 by 1024, or even 512 by 512. If anything works as long as they are the same. Um, I'll be jumping in and out, letting you kind of know what I'm doing and uh, things about hotkeys when we get into the modeling of the item itself. But hope you guys enjoy the video. Once in Blender, make sure you're in top orthographic mode. You can access this by hitting 7 on your numpad, giving you a top-down view of what you're trying to look at. Add a plane in top orthographic mode and select the top two vertices and delete, and delete vertices only. With the two remaining vertices, scale it down to where they're close together and get them positioned to where they're right below the logo. You want to kind of leave a little bit of the white border. You don't want to go into the logo, so just leave a little bit of space. And with the E button, you can extrude a single vertice. As you get to the end, you can connect the two vertices points by clicking the two close to each other and clicking F. Now 
Once the thing is finished, you can go ahead and select everything by pressing A on the keyboard and then filling it with a face by pressing F. We're going to go ahead and move this down out of the way for now so we can get, still see a clear view of our photo as we want to open up the points on there. So again, essentially we're going to do the same thing except this time we want to stay within the color of the photo. So instead of being in the white, you want to be in the color. Once you have all the items cut in the way that you want it to be, go ahead and go into edit mode, select all the faces, press E to extrude, and drag it all the way through the bottom of the shape of the logo that you have currently made. You can go ahead and click the plane and click H to hide the original image. Click the logo that you made, and on the right hand side you go into the uh, the tools and modifier tab and you'll click boolean. You're going to want to click fast and the little eyedropper tool on the right hand side. And with the eye eyedropper selected you're going to want to go ahead and click the object that you just made. And as you'll see there's orange lines appearing where the item is going to cut and that's good. Now to finish applying the modifier you'll click the drop down arrow in the modifier tab and click apply. Once that is done, you can click the object that you made, delete it, and you'll see that the logo is now have the holes inside of it. Select all the faces in edit mode and extrude down and get the logo, the depth that you wish to have. And you'll notice a bunch of lines. You don't want that. That's the shading being flat. So what you do is you click the object, go to object and shade smooth. And in the Virtus tab on the right hand side, you'll click auto smooth. Now you can play around with the percentages and the ratios of that to give you the 
the appeal you want. You usually want to stick it within the 30 to 50 percent ratio. And you'll notice that by clicking that button, it made everything red. That shows the facing of the normals. Red is bad. You want to see blue. So what you want to go is select everything in edit mode, go into mesh, and then flip the normals. And it will make everything blue, showing you that when you look at the object, it's not, it's not see-through. It's showing you faces properly. This is good. In this part of the tutorial, we will go over texturing and unwrapping. In the materials tab, click a new and add a new material. You'll want to name the material the same thing as the materials in your folder. In this case, we named it A. Under base color, you'll see a yellow little dot. Click that and select image texture. Select the folder icon and choose the, fold, the BC that you made in the folder that you created earlier. It's important to stay in top orthographic for this part as well. In edit mode, select all of the faces, and under the UV tab at the top, click project from view. In the UV shading tab, in top ortho view, in the window of your object, select everything, and in the UV unwrapping window on the left side, you can use the S to scale and G to move. And you basically want to try to fit it in there like a puzzle piece. For the flexi color to work, we will need to select all of the faces that we just unwrapped by clicking Control I. You can invert the face selection and choose all of the other faces on the object. In the UV tab, click Unwrap. In the UV shading tab, select everything with A, click S to scale, and 0 to scale all vertices to a single point. Once you have a single point, use the G to move it anywhere on the white part of the background, preferably in one of the top corners so it's easier to manage. Right below the materials tab, you'll find the textures tab. In there, add a new texture and name it A underscore BC. You'll need to add the remainder of the materials that you made. For this instance, RN, MT, F1, and EM will need it to be added in there as well. It's important to note that the suffix needs to be capitalized. It doesn't matter what you call it, it just needs to be underscore capital and then the appropriate material names. I will include a list of all the material names
the ends. By hitting Alt-G, you can move your item to the origin and control A and apply all transforms to center out all the scale and location settings. This is very important. Select your item and with Shift D, duplicate the item five times and name it hang time underscore L0 for the first one all the way down to L5. Double check your normals to make sure everything looks good. You don't want to see any red at this point. Select all, everything with A, go to File, select Export, and click FBX. Well, that's basically it. From here, after exporting, you'll basically need to select all of your materials, your icon, and your object, and compress it into a file and upload it to the TMTK workshop. Anyways, I hope the tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time.